again. In this lesson, uh, I would like to go over the proof of the sum and difference of cubes formulas. Uh, this lesson is going to assume that you've already uh, seen uh, long division and you may have already seen the sum and difference of cubes being uh, shown just to how to use it. So just a quick refresher of what the uh, sum and difference of cubes formulas look like. There are two formulas. This is the first one. So a cubed plus b cubed, the sum of cubes, right, addition of two things that are cubed, is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. And for the difference of cubes, which would be a subtraction, we have a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. And there is an acronym to help you remember how the signs um, alternate between each other here. So the first letter of the acronym is S, which means whatever the sign was in the original statement, the first bracket is going to have the same sign. So because we are a sum here, we're going to have an A plus B. Because we have a minus here, we're going to have an A minus B. And then the next letter of the acronym is O, for opposite, so this is the opposite sign of what the originals were. And then the last two letters of the acronym go towards the final uh, sign, which is always positive, okay? So the acronym is SOAP, which stands for same, opposite, and always positive. So that might help you remember the, uh, the way the signs uh, are alternating. Now, it is always going to be an A squared, a B squared, and then an AB in the middle. So um, that's something you just need to remember. So how do we go about proving something? Well, usually when we want to do a proof, you don't want to use numerical examples because if you use a numerical example, you're only showing that that numerical example works. So we're going to use a variable uh, example. Let's start with the difference of cubes here. So we're going to use x cubed minus b cubed, and we're going to divide that by what the first bracket would be if we were to expand it using the formula. Now, that would be x minus b. Now there's another reason why we would be picking x minus b, um, and that's because we know that b is one of the roots of this equation. Uh, how do we know that? Well, if you substituted b in for x, you'd get b cubed minus b cubed, which would give zero. So we know that that's one of the uh, roots or the zeros of the equation. And in uh, long division, when I did that lesson, or if you go back and look at that lesson, uh, that's one of the ways um, that we're going to eventually be choosing. Uh, and, and again, depending on which lesson you've seen already, um, that's one of the reasons, one of the ways we're going to be choosing how we uh, divide or what we divide by, what the divisor is going to be. If we're not given a divisor, uh, you always want to choose one that has one of the roots of your equation in it. So I'm going to use long division and not synthetic division here just because it's a little bit easier to see uh, with the um, uh, with the letters that I'm choosing here and without the numbers how everything is working. Now because we're dividing a polynomial that does not have all of the descending powers of x. Uh, and as I've discussed before in the lesson on long division, you have to include all the descending powers of x. And to do that, we're going to put 0x squared and 0x as the two missing terms. Okay? Uh, and, um, sorry, I think I made a mistake here. That's supposed to be a minus b cubed. I'm also going to move this down a little bit so I have a little bit more room. 
yeah, so you always want to make sure to have um, all of the descending powers of x so that they're keeping the placeholders because when we place our, um, uh, our quotient values, we always want to line them up with the appropriate uh, powers, okay? So the first thing we want to do is get rid of the x cubed. That means I'm going to need an x squared here because the x squared times the x is going to give me an x cubed. And then the x squared times the minus b is going to give me a minus bx squared. And I'm going to subtract down for those two quantities. x cubed minus x cubed is 0. 0x zero squared minus negative b squared gives me a positive bx squared, to which I am going to re uh, bring down this 0x to have my two terms. And then I'm trying to get rid of bx squared. Well, to get rid of bx squared, I'm going to um, put a bx, or sorry, just a, yeah, bx here. Because a bx times an x is going to give me a bx squared. And a bx times a minus b gives me a minus b squared x. To which I'm going to subtract down. So bx squared minus bx squared is 0. 0x zero minus negative b squared x just gives positive b squared x. And I'm going to re bring down, I always want to say reduce, sorry. I want to bring down the minus b cubed here. And to get a uh, b squared x here, I need to put a b squared up here. So b squared times x is b squared x. b squared times minus b is minus b cubed, and as you can see, the two terms here are exactly the same as the two terms above, which is going to give me 0 as my remainder. And if I get 0 as a remainder, I know that I have, in fact, used a factor, a perfect factor, of the uh, polynomial that I was trying to divide into. So what we've just shown is that x cubed minus b cubed is equal to x minus b times x squared plus bx plus b squared. And if we look at the formula for the subtraction of cubes or the difference of cubes, which was a cubed minus b cubed, I'm just going to rewrite it one more time. Repetition will help everybody hopefully start to memorize these. So we're going to have a squared, and remember it's soap, so same, opposite, and then uh, always positive. Now I had used an x in this position instead of an a, but if you replace all of the a's by x's, you will see that we have the exact same thing. So long division proves the difference of cubes. We will go through a sum of cubes as well, just to make sure that the note is complete. So we're going to do um, x cubed plus b cubed, but this time I'm going to do it with uh, synthetic division. And uh, in order to get my uh, divisor, uh, again, we're looking for a root of this equation. Uh, we're going to use um, uh, x plus b in this case, because if I isolate for my x, I'm going to get a negative b, and if I replace negative b for x here, negative b cubed is negative b, negative b cubed plus b cubed is going to give me zero, okay? So if we write out this equation with all of the descending powers of x, once again, it's going to look like this. But again, I want to use synthetic division here. So 1, 0, 0, 1. And my root is negative b. So if you remember, this is what we multiply up diagonally by. So I'm going to drop this one, multiply up by negative b, and add down. Multiply up by negative b. is positive b squared, and then add down, and then, uh, oh, I 
I made a slight mistake here. This is not supposed to be a 1 because this is actually supposed to be b cubed. Sorry about that. That is the actual coefficient, not the x value. So I just noticed I was going to have a problem if I didn't do that. So multiply up by negative b. That gives negative b cubed. And then we get our remainder of 0. So our trinomial that we would have left over, uh, this would be 1x squared, which we can just write as x squared, minus bx plus b squared. And I have now proven that x cubed plus b cubed is equal to x um, minus b, or sorry, x plus b, my mistake, x plus b was our original divisor up here and those two signs have to be the same if we're using the acronym and then times x squared minus bx plus b squared and if you go back and look at the formula for the difference of cubes or sorry the sum of cubes you will see that that gives the exact same answer so we have now proven the sum and difference of cubes formulas that's going to be it for this video we'll see you soon